Hey, it's Katie, and welcome back to my booktube channel. Today's video is the April Fairy Loot unboxing. This just came like an hour or two ago, and I'm so excited to open it. All I remember about this is that I think we get two books in this box, and those are always my favorite. So I'm very excited to see what's in here. Also, my box was missing one of the items from last month, so hopefully that's in here too. It should be. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So, our spoiler card looks like this, which is so cool. It definitely seems a lot darker than our recent months, so I'm very excited. Um, the theme is bittersweet. I love that. Okay. Okay, yes. So here is the item I was missing from my March Fairy Loot box. And it is the Threads of Fate um, deck of cards. And the cards are inspired. There's character art inspired by Only a Monster, Daughter of the Moon Goddess, Six Crimson Cranes, and Jade Fire Gold, which is so cool. Those are like some of the four last books that were in these boxes. And let me see if I can open it and we can look at what some of the characters look like. Ooh, okay. So they're red, which is really pretty. Let's see what they look like. Okay. Okay, so it looks like it's just a regular deck of cards with like ace through the 10 so it just kind of looks like a regular deck of cards but then the jack queen and king are different characters so the first set we have looks like this let me see if i can fan them out okay so here's the first set i'm gonna be honest i don't know which one this is this looks like Honestly, it could be any of them. I haven't read any of these yet, so I'm not really sure. I don't think it's Six Crimson Cranes. I think it's either Daughter of the Moon Goddess or Jade Fire Gold. Let's look at the other ones, and then maybe that'll help us figure it out. Okay, the next set we have. Okay, this is definitely Only a Monster, I think is what it's called, because... I remember the character print from this. I really want to read this book. I keep saying that and then I still haven't done it for some reason, but that one probably sounds the best to me as of now. So I really should read it. Now we're on to this one. I really need to read these books because I can't tell which book this is for really don't know. If you guys know, please comment below because I am struggling right now. Okay, here's the last set. Ooh, okay, this is six crimson cranes because she has the cranes behind her. So at least we got that narrowed down. That looks really cool. So we, we know two out of the four, but we don't know which set is Jade Fire Gold and which set is Daughter of the Moon Goddess, but eventually I'll figure it out. Okay, moving on. Next, I have Strange the Dreamer Moth Pin. Ooh, it's an enamel pin with this really cute moth on it. That's beautiful. There's like, it's kind of glittery down here. I don't know if that shows up on camera, but it looks really cool. I love collecting enamel pins and I have like a little banner that I put them all on and this is gonna look great on that banner. Okay, next we have this little tray which is inspired by the Night Circus. It says, and there are really never endings, happy or otherwise. What? And there are really never endings, happy or otherwise. Okay, well, <laughs> I don't really get it, but this looks beautiful. I did read The Night Circus, which it's very rare for me to read any of the books that these things are inspired by, but I didn't really like it. 
I think the vibe is really cool. The atmosphere is very cool, but it was just a lot of perspectives taking place in like the past and the present and it was just all very confusing. There were a lot of characters and like a lot of characters to remember, a lot of dates to remember. And it was all very like wordy writing. Like it's very descriptive and beautiful, but that kind of writing doesn't really work for me. So not my favorite book, but this is, <laughs> I almost dropped it. This is stunning. I do really like the atmosphere and I really love this. I think it's perfect for that book. Okay, next, <gasps> fairy lights. Oh my gosh. Let me try to open it. This is so cute. They're little hearts. I don't know if you can see. Are they hearts? That's what it says. It says heart fairy lights. They don't really look too much like hearts. But they're still really cute. I love fairy lights. I have some on my bookshelf behind me and I have another set of fairy lights from Fairy Loot which are like little moons. So I'm really excited to have more. I don't think this is inspired by anything but let me check. Yeah, it's not inspired by anything. Okay, I can't get it back in the box so we're just gonna set it down. Okay, yes, this box does have two books. Here's the first book. Beautiful. It's An Arrow to the Moon by Emily XR Pan. And I've definitely heard of this book. I don't really know too much about it, but I definitely recognize the name of it. This cover is beautiful. I love getting these special edition paperbacks because I've never really seen special edition paperbacks before. And I have, I think, two of them now other than this one which is amazing. Love that. And I love these sprayed edges. This is like basically my favorite color and it's gonna look so beautiful on my shelf. Wow. And it is signed. I'm not sure if it's like a digital signature or like a, a physical one, but either way it is signed. And let me see if it says a little bit about what it's about because I don't know. Okay, it is a digital signature, but this is a modern retelling of Romeo and Juliet infused with Chinese mythology. I love that. I love a good romance, even if it's like a Romeo and Juliet type romance. Um, and the fact that it's infused with Chinese mythology. Mythology is so cool to me. I love learning about all different kinds of mythology. So I think I'm really going to like this. Okay, I'm gonna set this down. The next thing in here, not really sure what it is. Is it like, it looks like it's collapsible. Okay. It's like a little storage bin. I can't fully get it open. There we go. Okay, this is a basket. What is a person if not the marks they leave behind? V.E. Schwab. This is so cute. I am not sure where I'm going to put this, but this is just so stunning. And I'm really excited to figure out what to put in here. Um, I could probably do like bookmarks or something. I don't know. If you have any ideas for this, let me know in the comments. This is so cute. And I love that you can also kind of collapse it. So it's not like gonna take up all this space if you have to like take it somewhere. I love that. I think we are on to the tarot cards. Oh, I didn't even say what that one was inspired by. That is inspired by The Invisible Life of Adi LaRue by V.E. Schwab. I have read that. I don't know why I didn't recognize that quote. Um, it says that it's perfect for storing books and items. I guess that's true. I could put some books for my TBR on there. I love that. Okay. Here are the tarot cards for the month. We have the Emperor and the High Priestess. These are stunning. The tarot cards are still some of my favorite things to get in these boxes. I always wanted those like before I subscribed to Fairy Loot. And the fact that I have like a whole collection now is just so much fun. And these are stunning. Okay, let me see what they're inspired by. 
Okay, yeah, I thought they were. These are both inspired by Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Sue Lin Tan, which was our book from two months ago, I think. I don't know. It was a recent book we got, which I still have not read, but beautiful. I love those. And now we're moving on to our little book pouch. Okay. So first we have our bookmark like always. I don't know where I put it, but it matches our spoiler card. Then we have our fairy scoop, which I will go back to in a minute. And we have our character print that doubles. Oh, you can't even see that. There we go. That doubles as an author's note. And then it's time for our book. Oh my gosh. Look how beautiful. Okay, this is the Blood Scion by Deborah Fillet. I don't know how to say her name, so I apologize. But this is beautiful. I already thought the cover was very cool. Like the original cover is also stunning, but I really like the colors that they changed. Like it just looks so beautiful. It's so pretty, okay. And here we have the spine and then we have our sprayed edges. I just love the color scheme of this whole book. And I also love that there's a blurb by Stephanie Garber, one of my faves. So I'm obsessed with that. It is signed and we have our custom end papers, which I love. Wait, wait, it's like on the book what so they literally just took the cover and put it directly on the hardcover i've never seen that i didn't know this was an option but i'm obsessed i've never really put a book on my shelf without the dust jacket but this might be the first one because i literally love this so much and then like i said we have our custom end papers which might be the same but they're still very cool and then we have artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket so pretty okay let me put it back together and then we will learn what this book's about okay so this says it is inspired by yoruba nigerian mythology and follows a girl's journey of magic injustice power and revenge that sounds really good another kind of mythology i love that they've been doing like a bunch of books with different kinds of mythology because like i said i'm a sucker for a good mythology retelling or something inspired by mythology and now i'm learning all different kinds of cultures as well and i love that um this has our exclusive cover sprayed edges artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket art wrapped around the hardcover and custom end papers that are signed it is just so beautiful and this is a book that was on my radar before sometimes we get books in the boxes that i haven't really heard of but this one i definitely really wanted to read and i actually pre-ordered but then i saw that they were putting it in this box and i canceled my pre-order because i don't need two copies of the book but it is stunning on the back, it says, this is what they deserve. They wanted me to be a monster. I will be the worst monster they ever created. I'm already obsessed. That just sounds so cool. I just, whenever I get these books, I just want to like stare at them for a while and I forget that I'm recording. Okay, I'm going to do a little recap of the items we got in this box and then I will tell you next month's theme. So first... I opened the deck of playing cards that were supposed to be in last month's box. Then we got our enamel pin inspired by Strange the Dreamer. We have our little tray inspired by the Night Circus. We have our first book, which is An Arrow to the Moon by Emily XR Pan. Looks beautiful. We got our little heart-shaped fairy lights we have 
Oh, I forgot one of the items. <laughs> we have this little bin for like different books and storage things. We have our tarot cards. Inspired by Daughter of the Moon Goddess. We have our art print and our little bookmark. And then our book of the month, which is Blood Scion by Deborah Fillet. Still don't know how to say her name, so I apologize. But next month's theme is Cloak and Dagger. That sounds cool. Um, okay. It says clandestine missions, midnight meetings, and unlikely alliances. This is one of our favorite setups for a high stakes fantasy book. You can expect items inspired by From Blood and Ash, Red Rising, Daughter of the Moon Goddess, and our featured book of the month. We are thrilled to reveal that this box will include a ceramic mug and the next foil bookmarks in our mythology collection. Wow. I thought this box was amazing because we get two books, which I'm always obsessed with, but getting mugs is like one of my favorite things. And also bookmarks. You can never have too many bookmarks. And these foil bookmarks that are inspired by mythology are so beautiful. I'm so excited to get more. Um, the featured book of the month is inspired by stories from 1001 Nights. It follows a legendary smuggler, a cowardly prince, and a dangerous quest across the desert to find a legendary mythical lamp. Um, it will have an, an exclusive cover, sprayed edges, foil on the front and back of the hardcover, artwork on the end papers, and is signed by the author. Oh, apparently this book can be categorized as an adult book. However, they think it falls into the adult YA crossover category. That sounds really good. This box is going to be amazing as well. So like usual, I will be doing a whole video dedicated to that. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you do subscribe, please click the notification bell so you know when I upload next. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to see you in my next video.